Alrighty, well, in today's video, we're going to do two summits, one in Arizona and one in New Mexico, because, well, why not? Just because there's a road going up here doesn't mean it's an easy climb. Number one, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Well, almost good afternoon, actually. Um, needed to go into the next uh, major town over to get to the hardware store, and why not combine it with a soda expedition? So Ray and I are heading over to Ortega Mountain. It's a big uh, cinder pile there. And uh, we'll do a little uh, ham radio on a summit. So, there you have it. Let's get cracking, Ray. Well, we're about halfway up. Got my goofy sun shirt on, but it's nice and cool. And uh, already getting some nice views from up here. I told Ray I had to stop and shoot some video, and she's like, dude, you're just tired. Don't lie to me like that. Smart dog. Ray and I have made it to the top. About a 40 minute hike. Hats off to Charlie, November Juliet, Southern Victor, who hikes in the heat all the time. Um, I can't believe it's maybe any more than 80, but luckily we just picked up a nice breeze and um, yeah, we'll stay cool up here. Got plenty of water and uh, Ray, Ray's pack is full of a couple of bottles of water too. So she'll be, she'll be happy. Let's get on the air. All right, made it, antenna's up. Got the random wire up and uh, tied off. It's probably up at least 20 feet. So I should get her done. And we're gonna hook up some stuff here. Frequency in use is this frequency in use. Good morning, this is November 1, Charlie Lee Machuri. I'll take that as a no. CQ, 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 this is November 1, Charlie Lee Machuri. For summits on the air, any station, anywhere. Whiskey Pops Drive 5, Tango Victor. Okay, I got a Whiskey Fox Drive 5, Tango Victor. Good morning. I got you at about a 5 5, five, five. Roger, Roger. We got two by five five here. I've been Mississippi also. Thanks. Thanks for the activation. QSL, QSL. Thank you, sir, and have an awesome day. Well, I have good news and bad news. Um, good news is I had an awesome operating position under this tree in the shade. Ray stays shady. I don't know if you can see her in there. She's got her camo on and She's her fur blends in and yeah, pretty stealthy dog. Um, at any rate, um, that's the good news. Uh, the other piece of good news is beautiful day. Let me give you a view of what my shack looked like out my gigantic window here. And then off kind of behind me, the clouds to the south moving in. Uh, it's going to be dry for the next few days, so actually that's uh, good if you want to do multi-day summits, but um, be a little bit warm up here. The bad news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I left the drone controller in the vehicle, so no drone shots of this, but uh, really it's just one big round mountain. It's pretty steep drop-offs over here towards uh, Sholo. Um, the mountain over... I think that's Porter Mountain with all the antennas on it. It's massive antenna array over there. 
but uh, that's over toward the uh, Sholo area, which I'm going over to to hit the uh, Home Depot. Need a little plumbing job done at the house. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that was out there chasing today. I got 21 contacts and three Summit to Summits uh, with those. Um, I did, I think I chased one Summit to Summit. I had two people chase me, so that was pretty cool. Um, a couple of them I couldn't chase. Uh, there's some guys in uh, Spain I was trying to get. Couldn't couldn't really land those guys. Um, I think I got a Canadian station summit to summit, but I'm <coughs> not positive. I have to go back and look. But uh, yeah, overall, nice activation. If you like to learn. All right, summit number two. We're going up to Saddle Mountain in New Mexico, and uh, just a beautiful day. Got up a little bit later today. But uh, slight breeze, a little bit of overcast, a uh, high cirrus in there. Um, my vehicle doesn't have the clearance needed for some of this stuff, so I decided to, to uh, stop here and head up the road. If you have a little bit of a high clearance vehicle, you can drive all the way to the top. But, uh, no, nah, not worth the me destroying a piece of my vehicle. We'll keep the cost of this expedition just a little bit lower. All right, okay. Just because there's a road going up here doesn't mean it's an easy climb. <laughs> Man, I think we're at around 8,000 feet. Um, but anyway, pretty country. Um, light breeze right now. So very nice, 7,965. I'd call that 8,000 feet. So yeah, we'll be a little over eight by the time we get to the top. So uh, let's get cracking. <laughs> All right, we're just about to our goal here. Lookout, Saddle Mountain Lookout. All right, if there's any doubt, I actually did make it. Looks like this uh, tower is being manned. Um, very light breeze. Nice up here in the shade. Uh, some cumulonimbus forming to the east of us, but uh, not too threatening yet. So should have a good activation. Okay, we're up here on the uh, Saddle Mountain uh, lookout, and uh, the uh, person in charge here has been kind enough to allow me an or grant me an interview. So, who do we have? Ray Getz. Ray, Ray yeah. Getz is up here uh, looking for fires, yep. right? <laughs> yep. So, and you're up here a few days a week till yeah, five and days. Five days a week. Yeah. All right. Lives uh, not too far from here, in, uh, down in Glendale. We won't give your address or anything. Yeah, not too far from here. Spent the night up here. It's uh, right now a beautiful day. Uh, do we have any fires around here? They're doing some burning over on uh, the reservation, but the black fire on the other side over there is kind of, it's pretty much done for there. Okay. Working the perimeter and securing the lines. And... Okay. Yeah, I don't see any uh, smoke from here. No. No. Have we had many fires that you've spotted from here this year? I've called in 10. Okay. Year. They're able to get on top of them? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Well, the rains that we had that came a little bit early certainly helped us. It's helped a bunch because this was all brown before, and now you can see how it's really greened up this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit earlier than normal. Yeah. Uh, this time of year, we don't typically see this much green. No. But uh, you still have a few brown patches, but they're coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice that seeing these hills kind of covered in almost green felt over here is kind of neat, isn't it? Yeah. Last <laughs> week they were brown. I'll be darned. Yeah, it just kind of just pops right up. Yeah. 
A little bit of moisture goes a long way. Mm -hmm. All right. Very nice. We'll see if we can't get a little bit different perspective with the drone here. Well, that wraps up Saddle Mountain. Nice activation. The clouds have been moving in. <coughs> Sitting in my chair there in the shade. Now we got clouds, it's cooling off. I didn't feel like getting up. It was nice. Got a few more, I went up, as you saw, up into the tower there. Came down, got a few more summit to summits, and uh, then packed up. And we're out of here. Beautiful day. I just felt a little bit of a sprinkle there. I don't think we'll get much rain today. Thanks for joining. Got 28 contacts, but wow, a whopping 10 summit to summits today. That was, uh, I mean, percentage wise, I think that's a record. That's uh, quite a few people out on a Friday. Uh, got Josh and Daryl out there. Uh, great to hear uh, Daryl's back out on the mountain as well as Josh. These guys are up there killing it. And I uh, got a few others, so good times. If you wanna learn more about this hobby, go to hamninja.com slash SOTA360. There's a four part series there on how to activate, and some stuff on chasing CW and who knows what else out there on that series, hamninja.com. You'll find a lot of other stuff out there on soda. So until next time, 73, thanks for joining guys. And if you want to see my ego get even bigger, and who doesn't want to see that, hit the like and subscribe. Let's roll the credits.